Hi, I'm Scott Kernan, Chief Engineer for Pierce Manufacturing. We're here in Indianapolis at FDIC, and I have the honor and privilege of introducing you to this wild and heavy engine uh, located behind me here in Lucas Oil Stadium. This truck is purpose designed and built for the Bureau of Land Management. The primary mission of the Bureau of Land Management is to protect life, public land, and private property. Federal wildfire vehicles are significantly different than your traditional uh, structure pumper that you would see. Because of the large land masses that the Bureau of Land Management must cover, uh, the truck uniquely carries an equipment load up to 3,000 equipment pounds that is able to be stored on this truck. Um, response times are often in hours, and it's often times that uh, these individuals are driving for 16 hours at a time from state to state. As part of that, uh, safety and comfort is of high priority for the Bureau of Land Management. As leaders in the industry, of providing high-performing, safe products, the Bureau of Land Management chose Pierce to partner with us to focus on their number one priority, and that's safety. Before I point out some of the other key features of this attribute um, of this truck, uh, you'll notice this special graphic here uh, for O'Malley and Hawkins. Uh, there was an incident that occurred in a vehicle roll uh, where they tragically lost their lives. As a response to that incident, uh, there are three primary safety features that are integrated on this truck that I'm going to go ahead and point out. The first of which is side roll protection. Um, so the only commercial ch chassis offering of the side roll protection, also offered from a custom platform standpoint, um, is the IMMI side roll protection in a high back PSV seat. The way the system works is the front two seats will deplete their suspension, lowering the travel the seatbelt's pretension, and also deploy an airbag from the side bolster um, to protect the occupant's head in the event of a vehicle roll situation. The second safety attribute integrated into this vehicle, uh, you'll notice, is the in-cab rollover protection system, or roll cage. Um, essentially, this is integrated into the cab. It provides increased rigidity of the cab to prevent any typical crush for occupant space within this vehicle. The third primary safety attribute that's integrated into this apparatus uh, just aft of the cab is a vertical framework structure integrated into the body and subframe that's capable of withstanding a 60,000 pound static load and will not deflect below the cab height. In order to fulfill the, the mission, this truck is designed to be able to carry equipment efficiently and effectively and also keep water out of the storage. The main body package is constructed out of stainless steel um, it is primarily mounted in a spring mechanism to allow cross-articulation of the chassis. Constructed fully of stainless steel, the doors themselves, um, in an effort to re reduce center of gravity, uh, reduce weight, are constructed out of aluminum and fully cycle tested to exceed the life expectancy of this apparatus. Moving towards the rear of the truck, um, this is actually an engine-driven pump. Uh, it has its own separate engine module located at the rear. This truck is capable of carrying 800 gallons of water and 20 gallons of foam. The sump system is designed for high incline where this truck can be on a 20 degree grade uh, and still supply water from the sump. Within the rear packaging of the pump, um, not only was uh, efficient flow for the plumbing design a key attribute, but maintenance to easily access things that need to be maintained on this apparatus. Operators can easily access any of the electrical components, the rear node, the strainers, foam flush, draining oil um, that they need to be able to accomplish without laying on the ground, um, putting them in an unsafe situation or having to crawl through. The pump that's packaged in here is a Darley 65K engine driven pump, capable of 300 GPM at 150 PSI maximum pressure capability up to 330 psi. So at the rear of the truck you find the main operator's panel. Everything is controlled here through a Dar Darley Digitrol panel um, to control this pump uh, with low ergonomic features uh, located at the rear of the truck. So a main overboard discharge located at the rear with integrated draft storage contained within the subframe itself. Uh, in previous designs operators had to get on top of the truck uh, which can often put them in an unsafe situation so we keep the operator on the ground and it's conveniently located next to the rear inlet. One final feature to point out here on the back of the truck um, is the external spare tire mount. There's an internal davit with electric winch that an operator is able to install on the top 
and easily lower a spare tire in the event that they need to change a tire on a truck out in the field. If you're in the area, please stop by the Pierce booth in Lucas Oil Stadium to feel free to look at the truck and ask questions from the product experts that we have on site. If you're watching remotely, please reach out to your local Pierce dealer representative. Thank you for your time today and stay safe.